hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again guys for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people we really appreciate your support we do not take you for granted yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country residents kicks against likely lockdown in river state now, Isam Wiki of uh, uh, recently, just uh, yesterday, has stated that um, in January that he's planning a total lockdown. Residents has kicked against it that um, that's not going to happen. They've criticized him. We'll find out more details and um, what is going on. But let's also remember that it's been stated that um, there's a second wave um, of COVID-19 that is due to hit the country. That is why um, all of the state governors are taking precautionary measures. You know, even at those states recently just um, reactivated the isolation centers and even um, testing centers. So governors will definitely do things. They have to be proactive, not wait for the second wave to uh, of the COVID-19 to hit before they spring into action however in spite of um, all that um, Mason Wiki has stated he has got a lot of criticism uh, uh rivers people have reacted negatively um, towards what he has stated we'll bring you more details shortly but before we go ahead guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you once again some residents of River State have criticized Governor Mason Wiki's threats to lock down the state again in January over the resurgence of COVID-19 week at the thanksgiving service in omagua a query local government area on sunday hinted about a plan to impose the fresh lockdown as one of the stringent measures to curtail the spread of the disease but some residents have taken to their different social media platforms and telephone interviews to condemn the governor's plan they insisted that what the state needs now is enforcement of the extant protocol of social distancing and wearing of face mask rather than total locking down the state again to inflict further hardship on the people. In an open letter by a social activist, Igwe Onyechi Wonfurum, aka Humble Lion, urged the governor to revisit the plan, but look at the option of enforcing the protocols. Forum said, I have read with great concern your threats to lock down Potako this January. This decision, if carried out, will be detrimental to the people of the state. Please, I'm begging you with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to think twice about your decision, for we have not fully recovered from our previous experiences. He reminded Wiki of the activities already lined up ahead of the local government elections that are due early in the year and queried what he would do if he locks down the state as he has planned. Also reacting, a former media practitioner, Emeka Edike, urged the governor to use the enforcement of COVID-19 protocols to increase the revenue base of the state by setting up a tax force and constituting mobile courts that will arrest, try and impose fines against defaulters. Idika maintained that the first lockdown never served any reasonable result, otherwise there would not be the second wave of this infection. He said, lockdown is a bad option outdated it is not an effective measure and should not even be mentioned what the state government should do is to create a committee to enforce face mask wearing and social distancing the economy is fragile there is a recession the citizens are struggling to live to the next day this is not the time to add salt to their injuries but to help them to be victorious over covid 19. So um, Wiki actually um, gave a um, statement. He was in a service. We'll, we'll show you, uh, we'll play that video for you, for you to see all of what he said. COVID is real. Now, I have allowed the church to be worshiping with this number because I'm a Christian. But I can tell you, before the end of the year, so many stringent measures will be taken. We are going to shut down. Shut down so because yesterday we had 40 cases, it's, it's something else. So, if you want to go to club, go from now to the 31st of December, go and enjoy yourself. You are free, but I can tell you from January to no longer be deceptive because market if nobody, in fact, I'm happy with the number of seen wearing a mask because I insisted, I told a demand. If I come there and people are not wearing their mask, I would, after I would embarrass them, he said no, that you make sure 
that people wear their masks. But when you go to most of the churches, they don't wear masks. Go to markets, they don't wear masks. They believe nothing. COVID is not uh, real. It's not real because it has not happened to you. Nobody has died whom you know that was very close to you. But if somebody has died and the person was close to you, you know that COVID is uh, real. So it is real. So I want to appeal to all of you that we have to be more strict now. Because the way the second wave is going is more deadly than in the first uh, uh, wave. The second wave is very, very dangerous. I know how many people we have lost. I know how many people have lost since the second wave started. So please, please, in the name of God. Bishop, please. I don't want people to stop putting offense. Let our people wear their mask. Tell all the churches in your diocese that everybody must wear masks. If you don't comply, I have no choice but to shut down the churches. I have no choice. Pentecostal, Catholic, Anglican, whatever. We have no choice. Because when you have it, who spends the money is the state to treat. So we need to use the money for some other thing, but not for this. So we should be able to say, look, let us discipline ourselves. Let us discipline ourselves and know that COVID is real. Let nobody tell you that doesn't like uh, COVID. It is a uh, so guys, we've heard it from the no-nonsense governor. We know Nason Wike very well. When he says anything, he means it. If we recall back um, to even the um, first phase of the lockdown, he was going out by himself to impose um, the lockdown. But I mean, um, right now, what he's saying, I quite understand and I agree with him because he's stating that um, lockdown is not the first point of call. He's urging and employing everyone to comply, begin to wear face masks in public places, observe social distancing. You know, even in the church where he was um, um, speaking, he was stating that churches right now, uh, most people don't wear face masks and it shouldn't be so. So he was even urging the parish and pastor to uh, um, uh, inform all the parishes to, to comply or else um, you'll be left with no option down to lockdown river state and we know that will be hard we don't want another phase of lockdown to me i feel is the right thing he has stated guys let's observe social distancing let's wear face masks it's not too much to ask for it is what um um the whole nation is facing at this point in time anyway guys let's hear your own take um if you still feel that um, Nason Wiki is not doing the right thing you know because he's got a lot of criticism as a, a result of this statement that he made that um um, river state might go into total lockdown by um at some point in january but there's a clause to it if um there's no uh if people don't comply so let's hear your take down below in the comment section thank you once again please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again bye for now and god bless